So this is something we were talking about earlier, yeah. and um, I'm just interested. So you were saying you had your old set of skills, your own businesses, mm. a certain direction, and you don't want to go down that route anymore. You don't want to be somebody who's making what has already been designed. Yeah. You're more interested in being more creative and yeah. offering a service to people from that perspective. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that you were trying to keep your options open, mm. but if you had to, if you were forced to choose mm. a direction, let's say you were suddenly, you know, you, you, you're going to lose your house unless you get a job <laughs> in a month. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the real world, thank so, you very much. <laughs> but, but that's one part of the question, yeah. like what would you choose today? Yeah. And let's say that that wasn't the situation, and you had, you could survive quite happily for a couple of years. Yeah. What would it be your, your ideal direction longer term? So, I can go get work now. I mean, I am in talks. I'm negotiating work. You know, now I've reconnected. People are asking me to take on work jobs. <laughs> so getting working is not an issue. I've been very fortunate that the jobs I've picked have actually been the digital side of things mm -hmm. that then relate to CAD, which relates to you know, production or prototypes. Mm -hmm. um, but longer term, I think my goal is to get a, a really good mark in the third year. So build on the success and how much I've improved through the second year. Mm -hmm. Get a, you know, get into the steady 60s at the end of the second year so that I'm in a really good place to go on to get a first in the third year mm -hmm. and push on to a master's. After that, I'd like to keep developing on the teaching side of things. I've got some really inspiring teachers and I think I've got a lot of qualities that could be implied to students. But I realise there's a lot of behind the, you know, red tape. Mm. I don't know what the right word is, but there's a lot of that, and that isn't my strongest colour. I am not, you know, I'm not a academic, I'm a doer. You know? So I'd have to do a lot of hard work to get there, I think. But I'm certainly interested in it. So if you were, cause there's so many options mm. in a course like this, you could mm. go, go down like the teaching, the like, digital technologies, you could go down the route of teaching design, you could go oh. down the route of um, even teaching teaching. So <laughs> kind of, are there any, any particular route that interests you at the moment? Yeah, I, I've, I think I really like the product design and mm -hmm. the variety of it. Mm -hmm. And with my sort of experience in model making and toy design and prototypes for toys and this kind of stuff, teaching those, or being involved in those traditional skills that are getting forgotten, you know, the days of the airfix kit and mm -hmm. the 10 year old sat in his bedroom with your glued fing fingers covering glue have sort of gone now. But I think those skills can still be relevant. Mm -hmm. So teaching that, looking at toys, looking at hobbies and how designing for those markets because the hobby industry is enormous and COVID certainly massively expanded it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's very relevant today. You know, people still buy home between sets. Still, people still buy plastic model kits. Mm -hmm. People still buy toys for children. Uh, somebody's got to design them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you know, the the brightness of the generations that are coming through college and university, getting those people engaged with doing that kind of work. There's plenty of jobs out there. Mm -hmm. That's something that interests me. 